Hey, what's up, you guys? Sam Caboose here, bringing you another video. Now, today I kind of wanted to do something different, something fun, and just something that, you know, I really wanted to do. Um, I've watched Man of Steel twice now, and after watching it the second time, I really do realize how there wasn't as many mistakes as I claimed there was in my review. Uh, at first I was like, oh, there's like 45 minutes of nothing. I watched it again. I was intrigued the whole way through. It, like, my goodness. Like, and it's and it's only been a few days after the movie's release, and I've watched it again just completely on the edge of my seat the whole time. So I was thinking, you know, there's a ton of Easter eggs in Man of Steel, and they're David Goyer and, like, Zack Snyder and all the guys at DC Entertainment, they're just trying their best to make this Justice League movie happen. So what I wanted to do is make a video for you guys talking about what I want for the DC universe, cinematic universe, like what I want for the future of the DC cinematic universe. So the first thing that I want is before they make some sort of another Man of Steel sequel, which is most likely going to be the first thing on the list, I want a Flash movie. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but the Flash is my favorite character, or my favorite hero, that is. And I just want a Flash movie. And for those of you asking, oh, who should be casted as, as the Flash? Chris Pine. All the way. A lot of people are saying Bradley Cooper. A lot of people are saying Ryan Gosling. But when it comes to budget, when it comes to somebody that's, you know, well-known enough for people to have some sort of a fan base built around him, but, you know, not as great of an actor enough to be put on a high budget or been get paid a lot of money it's chris pine he's got the you know mentality of the flash he looks the part and he'd be perfect as either wally west or barry allen in my opinion he could play both sides of the characters if you've seen him in star trek he can be that funny lovable guy or he can be that extremely serious and you know just work related type of guy if you know what i mean um so yeah, I want a Flash movie just because he that character has so much potential to have like just to be a fun movie uh on the big screen, you know. And if you're asking, "Oh, who should be the first villain?" I think that the first villain should be Mirror Master. Um and if there were ever to be sequels down the line, the second one should be Captain Cold and the third one should be Reverse Flash. Those are the three villains that I would definitely choose against the Flash, Mirror Master, Captain Cold, and Professor Zoom. Um, I don't know what I said. Or did I say Reverse Flash? Anyways, Professor Zoom. That's what I meant. Um, other things that I want is the Batman reboot to happen before the Justice League film. Just because there's one thing that Marvel does so perfectly, and it's that they tell a long story before the Avengers. You know? The Avengers didn't just happen. You know, they didn't just get... A group of like six or so friggin beyond human extent people and just like have them all together in two seconds you know like there were four movies i believe four yeah four iron man one and two thor captain america uh, oh yeah an incredible hulk i think five all right yeah so five movies that led up to the avengers so like that is a lot of storytelling and that's what they got to do with the Justice League film, it won't be a good film if they don't do the solo movies. Because then, you got to cram in all that time of explaining how they got together and just giving the character development for each character. And it will really ruin the movie unless the movie's going to be like, what, four hours long? So, they really, really need to get moving with the solo movies first rather than just going straight ahead with the Justice League movie. Um, what else? Uh, so, we got the Batman reboot, we got a Flash movie. I don't know about you guys, but, okay, Green Lantern was terrible. It was really, really bad. Like, holy Christ bad. Um, but Ryan Reynolds wasn't that bad. I mean, like, I could see him coming back. I would love to see him coming back, in fact, because, first of all, we got some continuity, Second of all, just get him serious, you know? The guy's, like, 
when it comes to the Green Lantern movie, it wasn't Ryan Reynolds' fault that it was a bad movie. That's the writer, that's the director, that's all their fault, you know? The actor does what he's told to do, and, you know, he can't just really do what he wants all the time. In terms of the uh, the script, and I think my voice just cracked there. <laughs> In terms of the uh, script and stuff like that, you know, it's just, it's not up to him. So, yeah, I would love to see Green Lantern come back for a second film, make it purely about Sinestro, and maybe even set up Sinestro as the villain for the Justice League, you know? Because the Sinestro's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, I know, like, he's kind of, you know, he's been beaten by Green Lantern, so how would he not lose against people like Superman, Batman, The Flash, Martian Manhunter, and all them, you know? But I just, I don't know, he'd be a pretty decent villain. And he can do some cool stuff. I'd love to see a lot of the constructs be used really well. Uh, they were used really dumb in the Green Lantern film. Like he was building hot wheeled ramps to save cars and stuff. R really dumb. Um, so yeah, I would like to see a Green Lantern sequel. But whatever it could be, just make it good. Um, now, I guess, this is where we do the side characters the characters that may not be able to have enough fan base to build a movie around and th those are characters like wonder woman and i know everyone's gonna be like dude wonder woman has a lot of fans like come on no that's true but i don't think that if she had enough fan base they wouldn't be planning to do a tv show rather than a movie you know and the tv show is a really bad idea wonder woman is almost like at her power like her abilities is almost matched with Superman, so that can't really be done well. That can't be really be portrayed well in a TV show rather than something like an actual movie or even something like a cameo in a movie, the same way they did Hawkeye in Thor. And I know I'm going back to Marvel, but they just they executed that perfectly. Hawkeye would never do well at the box office if they made a film solely based on him. So instead... They quickly introduced him, and everybody loved it. That's the best thing about it, is that everybody loves a cameo, you know? Like, let's say Man of Steel 2. She just shows up, whether it's an after credit scene, whether it's, you know, Superman goes there, or, like, goes to, what is it, uh, Themyscira or something. Uh, whatever it may be, just have some sort of a cameo with her. And that'll be cool. Like, she comes in and, like, beats the crap out of some jobbers beating Superman. Like, some of the little minions or whatever. Whoever the villain, next villain maybe I don't know. And then, like, she's just like, um, this isn't the last time you're going to see me. And then she just leaves or something. You know? I don't know. Like, they just, they need to bring her into the cinematic universe some way or another. And I don't think it should be a movie yet. I think that should wait after the Justice League. Kind of the same way. And again, going back to Marvel. Kind of the same way that they're going to do the next Hulk movie a little bit later. Let Hulk's fan base build build up and up because, you know, the first two Hulk movies didn't do very well at the box office. So let his fan base just keep growing and growing. Then bring out a movie. People know who he is now. People want to watch what he does solo. So, yeah, do the same with Wonder Woman. That's great. So as, in terms of Man of Steel 2, what kind of villains that I'd like to see? Um... Here's the way I want it to, to, to pan out. I want the the villain in Man of Steel 2 to just be Lex Luthor. To, but this time, do the suit. Do the mech suit. That's, that's great, you know? Because that can allow, you know, Lex Luthor to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Man of Steel rather than just fighting him psychologically, even though that could be great also. You either do that, you either do the mech suit, or make him become president because that was one of the greatest storylines in the comic books is when Lex Luthor becomes president. You know, he's got all this power. And then what you can do is just kind of like, um, I believe, uh, what film was it? I think it was Superman, Batman, Public Enemies, the cartoon movie. I love that because Lex Luthor's pre uh, president. I was about to say Lex Luthor's pregnant. <laughs> um, Lex Luthor's president and then he hires like, you know, Captain Adam and all those guys to fight Superman. So I'd like to see that, but just Captain Adam. And then that would be really cool because then you get to introduce that character. Well, obviously, he's going to first start out as a villain. But then after all the fighting, you know, Captain Adam realizes that Lex Luthor is doing something bad. And then he turns on him and there's the climax and that's the end. And then 
done. Like that's that would be so perfect. Like Lex Luthor goes to jail or something. He gets got caught for his crimes. That would be so cool. I would love that because Captain Adam is pretty badass. I don't know if you've ever seen him in the comics or if you've ever seen him in the cartoon movies, but he is really badass. In terms of the third movie, flat out go with the Death of Story, uh, Death of Superman story arc. Either that or save Doomsday for the Justice League movie, because it would be perfect. You could have a good like forty or so minutes of setup and stuff, um, and then just jump into it. Doomsday is released, and just all hell breaks loose. Just buildings falling, kind of the way the final battle in Man of Steel was with General Zod and Superman. And it's just an epic battle of just punching and kicking and flying and destruction. And then, you know, Superman dies. And then you got the clone Superman as the villain for the rest of the movie. It could be done good. I know a lot of people hated that storyline in the comic because of the way that he came back and was kind of cheesy and dumb. But it can be done well. It really can. Um, I don't know if you've seen the Doomsday, Superman Doomsday cartoon movie. But that was also really well done, especially the Doomsday and Superman fight. That was incredible. I loved what I was watching. Um, so, yeah, you know, just think about it. Superman versus Superman. That's awesome. So I would like to see that for a third Man of Steel movie. And then, uh, I mean, I think that the Justice League film should come after the first sequel, the first Man of Steel sequel. Have your Flash uh, film, Wonder Woman Easter Egg and um, Man of Steel sequel. And then you got uh, Green Lantern 2. And maybe you can do something with Martian Manhunter as well as an Easter egg. And then, bam, just jump into the Justice League. All the characters are established. Or, uh, one thing I'm forgetting. Aquaman. Now, people won't... <laughs> I, I want Aquaman to be a part of the DC Universe because he is so cool. Everybody has underestimated that character to, to no end. But he is so awesome. I don't give a shit what you say. He is so awesome in every single way, shape, and form. So yeah, I'd love to see. I, yeah. So I'd love to see an Aquaman movie somewhere in between the films that I was naming there. Um, but yeah, after the first Man of Steel sequel, jump straight into it. All the characters are established. We get the Justice League going. Whether it could be like. Brainiac is the villain, or I wouldn't go with heavy hitters like Darkseid. I'd save that for like the sequel, where everybody just now knows exactly what the Justice League is capable of. So then we get to see them push to their limits, you know. Um. So yeah, I would introduce Darkseid into like a second Justice League sequel, and then there you go. Like that is honestly the best way I could think of the DC universe or the cinematic universe, by far, for sure. Like. It's just that, I don't know, it, it can be done, guys. It really, it can be done, and if it is, it can be done really well, especially if they got David Goyer, you know, on board with writing stories and stuff like that. If they got Zack Snyder watching over everything, even though he's not really a great standalone director, but most of all, if they can keep Christopher Nolan on board, oh, man. Because one thing that Christian Bale said, and I know I think that we've lost all hope for Batman returning, and I believe it's actually completely confirmed about Batman just being new in the Justice League, a new Batman. Chris Nolan said, if, or um, Christian Bale said, if Christopher Nolan wants him back for a Justice League movie or something, I believe, uh, or another Batman movie, I don't remember, he said he'd do it. He said he would, he would, you know. Wear the cape, wear the cowl again. So I just I hope that can happen. That would be great. Anyways, that's just about it. Um, I know I kind of didn't. Uh, I don't know. I I rambled a lot, but I tried my best. This is just uh, one thought that just went through my head today. So hope you enjoyed this commentary. Tell me what your thoughts are below. Tell me if you agreed with me, if you disagree with some of the things that I said. I'm App Caboose. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.